Hey there friends, how is it going today? We're playing BitLife where I'm going to agree with everything. Be a bit of a yes man, and if you want to play along at home, subscribe. <laughs> You've no choice now. All right, let's get going. Okay, so I recently learned that Abel is actually a name, and I like that name. It has a nice ring to it. So last name Abel, first name Agree. Agreeable. That's a good name. I was going to pick a place, but I guess I should just agree with what they picked for me. <laughs> Why are my looks zero percent? Okay, wait, actually, I understand. <laughs> I looked, and it just looks like such an angry baby. But still, it's a bit harsh, like zero percent for a baby. How could it be that ugly? Oh, some crazy baby wants to be my friend. I mean, I think Reg it would be a good idea, but I'm agreeable, so yes. Oh god, that dog, this is gonna kill me. Yes, I want him. <laughs> but yeah, you see, Willy ate my homework. That's it, I'm never playing with Willy again. But I guess since I'm like a yes man, I should reward him for that? Your classmate Salvador has been telling everyone on social media that you're a teacher's pet. Well, I'm agreeable, so I guess I should just agree. I should tell my stepsister also. Oh wait, no, I didn't mean in a bad way. She stamped his heel now. Your friend Erica has made you her enemy. I thought we were friends, weren't we? I remember the name Gump. It's very memorable. Oh yeah, I don't have any friends anymore. I just have an enemy. Why? What did I do? I agreed with everything you said. God, I'm in the prime of life. My looks are all the way up to 3%. Oh no, they just dropped the two. Never mind. Oh Jesus, your Labrador <laughs> just ate your teddy bear. Reward him. Great job, chief. Oh, Nora's asked me out. Well, that's a yes from me. Oh, Willie died. I, he died from old age. I'm surprised it wasn't from choking on something. I was encouraging him to eat everything around the house. Your girlfriend Nora wants to break up with you. Wish her well. <laughs> just going along with everything. I'm just here for the ride. Oh, another friend. I know you're going to become my enemy, but yeah, friends. Best friends for life. Yeah, that's what Gump said. I'm depressed now. <laughs> I just made a new best friend. He's like, oh, I hate this. Your friend Vinny wants to become best friends. I already said I'd be best friends for life like two seconds ago with someone else, but you know what? Agree. <laughs> what would an agreeable person go into business in? New to art model? Oh, yes. In a school district? Well, that sounds risky. <laughs> I'm not the type of individual they're looking for. Is it because my looks are 8% because this is an all-time high for me? Oh, another friend. How am I making so many friends? I guess because I just agree with everyone. Apply to university today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Apply to university. I was rejected. You're thinking about enrolling in community college. Okay. <laughs> Your friend Lucas is looking to get some easy insurance money and asks if you'll double set his car. When you ask what that means, he tells you to set it in a field and then set it on fire. What will you do? Okay. You graduated. What will you do now? I guess look for a job. I don't know. <laughs> Can I get Game just tell me what to do. I don't want any input. I got an interview for a uh, firefighter. Why should we hire you? Oh, can't you suggest something and I'll just agree with it? <laughs> None of these are particularly good. Like, I'm not sure you should. <laughs> well, uh, honesty is one of his best qualities. And he's not sure you should, to be honest. Yeah, I got rejected. <laughs> if I don't believe I should have the job, I don't see why they should believe it, to be fair. Lucas is asking me if he should invest in crypto. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Erica is a feckin' lunatic. Like, this already sounds bad enough. Started rumor that she could quote your father saying you were the biggest mistake of his life. But my dad just died. <laughs> what? You've been saving up all your Starbucks rewards for a special coffee only to discover that your enemy Erica has used your name and depleted your account. Like, what is her problem? I met her when I was two and she's had it out for me since. I'll visit the job recruiter. Oh wait, I can't afford it. Hold on. <laughs> my mother's suffering from itchy bottom. Well, that's great, mom. Thanks. I'm glad we can be this open. Oh, another person wants to be my friend. Sure. Oh no, an old grandma offers you some steroids. Sure thing, granny. Oh, wait, I get an opportunity to boost my looks. A free calf implant procedure? How could I turn that down? Wow, a 36% looks. Let the dating app pick someone for me. Oh, look, you look awful too. We can be the greatest ugly couple ever. Let's go on a date. Mary wants to take your relationship to the next level. Okay. He's just like, no, whatever. Well, she's pregnant. All right, what'll we call it? Well, since the baby has terrible genes, I'm gonna call it Undate, which is a really unique name name. I like it. And it goes quite well with the last name here. Circumcision. Oh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> it's grand. <laughs> Sign up for YouTube. Yeah, sure. What is this? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. He's having issues. I should go to the doctor. Fucking hell, your reputation is so bad. You can't be that bad. I'll go see you. I don't have enough money. What? How am I minus money? Oh, yes, babies. I forgot. Why did I just agree to that? Can't afford to go to the doctor, for God's sake. What if I emigrate somewhere with free health care? Is that possible?
possible. Finland approved me, but they want 10 grand. I don't even know if they have free healthcare. They just seem to have it figured out, those people up north, you know? I'm feeling weak and achy due to high fever. Guess I'll just pray it away because I don't have any money. Maybe I should get a job. <laughs> the game hasn't suggested it in a while, so I just haven't done it. What would work with his particular set of skills? Yay, I got a job fighting fire. <laughs> and on my first year, I can finally go to the doctor. I've been suffering for three years. All right, Velasquez, tell me what I have. What? No, you must be wrong. There's no way. I, I can't afford it. Treat me. Come on, dude. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll wait a year. You hear a plane buzzing <laughs> above your house? You go inside to discover your enemy Erica has paid for an airline banner that reads agreeable as a simpleton. I guess just flip off the pilot. I don't think you'll see me. What is her deal? All right, I'm going to Dr. Fucker because this guy's Dr. Fecker. All right, treat me. I continue to suffer. Oh, Jesus Christ. You need to start putting in four more. No, I can't. I'm ill. But I kind of got to agree. I have no choice. I got a promotion. Well, at least there's that. Mary, why are you breaking up with me? I wish you well. Beavis, why did you unfriend me? <laughs> Let him go. Just agree. Why are you all unfriending me? What have I done? And I have two serious medical conditions. One is I have cancer and the other is I have no backbone so I'm just decreeing with them as they leave me this might be the most depressing life I've ever had but at least my mother likes me I'm calling a hitman to kill my enemy <laughs> to hire him yeah I'll agree with that price that's fine there we go they pulled off the hit Erica is dead <laughs> and I am depressed it's kind of like the Batman Joker situation like what's one without the other sweet Jesus Christ <laughs> like he's so miserable he has depression anxiety on top of everything else he's happy is at zero. He looks awful. I'm gonna go get some surgery. I don't even know why. And you know what? We'll emigrate too. Send me to the United Kingdom. Oh, I went to Belfast. That's even better. It's on the Emerald Island. And I know I can get free healthcare there. Dr. Webb, your reputation is amazing. But Dr. Cox is a funnier name. So I'm going with you. They did not heal me. <laughs> Turns out a funny name doesn't mean you're really good at being a doctor. You need to give your new female cat a name. What will you name her? Man of the house. I just kind of found it. and <laughs> I feel like that's a good way of getting rid of the responsibility if I'm not in charge. While at a bar, a woman offers you a tequila shot that she's already ordered. What's the worst that could happen? You know what? I'm gonna go out clubbing. I didn't enjoy it. A one night stand? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Why not? No condoms are available. Keep going. Worry later. <laughs> your mother's suffering from hemorrhoids. Good to know, mom. Thanks. Oh, no. Your fling Gracie suspects you were the father of a baby girl, Helena. Ah. Well, I have to agree to the test. <laughs> and I came back positive. Jesus, you look great. How? How? No, that's not possible. It can't be his baby. She cured my depression and anxiety. It's a miracle baby. Sorry, undateable. I don't need you anymore. Abandon. Oh yeah, I don't have a job. Someone offered me a job on a farm. Well, I guess I'll take it. I gotta agree. Oh no, my mother passed away. I'll always remember the last thing she said to me. Agreeable. I have hemorrhoids. It's a lot of money, but I don't really have a choice. I, I gotta agree. Oh, Jesus, I just inherited a load of money. Oh, look who's happy all of a sudden. Why is Undateable so upset? Just because I took him to a new country and abandoned him. I'll send him a gift. Uh, it's cheap and cheerful. Bit life, bit citizenship. Give it to him. Oh, he loves it. What a surprise. No bias there at all. Oh, Jesus, you have an opportunity to have a one night stand with a married female from Norway. How the hell did you... Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh. What a surprise. It looks like she has some craziness going on down below. I'm sure it'll be fine. You've lost your appetite due to a high fever. Oh, Jesus Christ. This doesn't sound good. Yeah, it's gonorrhea, I'm afraid. All right, you solved my gonorrhea. I guess you could say you put the gone in gonorrhea. See you later, Doc. I'm sorry for saying that. That was bad. Oh, no. Your co-workers asked you if you'd like to do some blow at the holiday party. Let it snow. Let it snow. Oh, no. <laughs> this is gonna end badly. I can boost my health finally i don't think a hike will solve what ails me but sure yeah okay well it helped a lot somehow a one night stand again <laughs> all right go for it oh and surprise surprise rosie over here is some craziness going on down below you'll be fine oh no your stomach is hurting so much it feels like someone punched you in the gut uh, <laughs> i know it was gone aria but it's back aria <laughs> can you help me yay it's gone aria <laughs> i'm sure i'll get to make that joke again i have a nasty feeling oh the man of 
the house has died. That's so sad. A lady named Rose looks suggestively at you while eating a whole cucumber without chewing. Okay, yeah, that's great. <laughs> no condoms are available. <laughs> well, keep going. Worry later. Oh, Jesus Christ. While at the gym, you meet a lady from Peru named Lorena. Ask her on a date. <laughs> oh, no. A bouncer you met at the bar has told you that if you can take a parcel to Ukraine, you can earn 10 grand. I have over half a million pounds, but yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> oh, for feck's sake. <laughs> I guess cooperate with them <laughs> and get the best lawyers I can get. Oh, they've offered me a plea, Barrack. Well, I guess I have to agree. <laughs> I'm doing two years in Dreamcatcher State Jail and I've been fired. I clicked on the gangs tab, but it's a minimum security prison. There are no gangs here. Well, I gave someone a fecking compliment to just try and be nice. And then he attacked me with some scissors and stabbed my booty. At least I didn't die anyway. <laughs> All right, I've been released. Unfortunately, the girlfriend broke up with him, but it is what it is, I suppose. I may as well go to a nightclub. I'm too old. Oh my God. <laughs> How much did I age while in prison? While well, at a pool party, your friends order a round of scotch. Yeah, let's get this party started. And he succumbs to peer pressure so easily. What the hell is going on? All of my siblings have died, like one after another. Like, look at this. Venus died last year. Valeria died last year. And Jeanette died uh, this year. Is there like a serial killer here in the family or something? I could be next. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> How does Undateable actually like me when I abandoned him? And why does he still look like a child if he's 24? He must have just really like that bit citizenship I sent him a few years ago. Will I send him something else? I'll send him a glitter bomb. <laughs> he didn't like that. Oh, Jesus. You know, one night stand, you threw out your back. Great. That's all I needed. It's just such a depressing life agreeing with everyone. Oh, for feck's sake, you encounter a hooker turning tricks. Ah, I better take a shower. Yeah, I would if I were you. Oh, it did cure my depression, though. <laughs> Don't know if it was that or the shower, but it's gone. <laughs> okay, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, for feck's sake, I boss. I thought the casino might be a good idea, but I don't think it is. Okay, 20. I'll stand. A 21. Feck off. <laughs> How much have I lost now? 144,000. I'm going to stop. I'm depressed. I stopped too late. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I found a date, but they're insane. Well, I don't have any choice. She has a lesbian lover. Ah, oh, forgive and forget, I suppose. It's nagging you to buy a car. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's going to be the death of him. What's the cheapest car I can get? Kia Optima. Yeah, that's fine. Apply for a car loan, too. <laughs> Oh no, the hospitality team at Madison's Belfast Casino calls and offers you unlimited access to their buffet if you come back and play. Sounds great, let's go. Deal them. <laughs> okay, 20. All right, yeah, that's good. Thanks for inviting me back. 21, screw you. <laughs> no, I died. What the hell? I got rowdy. Agree worked as a farmer for many years. Clubbers at Ezra's Disco hold a moment of silence as they mourn his loss. I appreciate the clubbers doing that. I continue as my child, but which one? I guess undateable. <laughs> he has more of my genes. While covering a story about a politician you don't like, you end up taking many photographs of the politician. Which will you choose? Photoshop a pic to make him look even worse. There you go. Your daughter Ginger is suffering from tonsillitis. He has a daughter? God, he really was disowned. He's got a wife and everything. Jesus. Oh, she's pregnant. Keep the baby. Keep up the tradition your dad had of just being a yes man. Oh, Jesus Christ. No apparent reason you've recently been using the wrong words to describe something when speaking. On top of that, you've been having issues with tunnel vision. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. It's fine. What is it with people eating a whole cucumbers without chewing? Well, yeah, I'll agree. Do her. Don't use your condom. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Jesus. Agree to take the test. It came back negative. Yes. You are not a father. Well, you are, but you're not like a father of that child that, you know, the one night stand thing stuff. You, you still have responsibilities. Oh, God. The wife is nagging for a car. Do what your dad did and just look for the cheapest thing possible. Oh, God. <laughs> Keep going. Worry later. <laughs> oh, Mavis is arguing. Going. I don't blame you. Yeah, I apologize. Your daughter is asking for money. Oh no, don't make this a habit, please. I have no choice in the matter. I need to find a career where being agreeable gets you rewards. Like organized crime. <laughs> they said you don't know what it means to get your hands dirty. All right, let's do some crime then, if that's what you want. Grand Theft Auto, why not? Yay, I stole a car. <laughs> now, can I join? <laughs> are you just keeping that, by the way? Are you, <laughs> are you gonna sell it? Like, <laughs> it's a bit suspicious you just suddenly have this car. 
Ow! What? They beat me up for asking to join. Okay, I won't ask anymore. Sweet Jesus. Undateable over here is also unlikable. I should go to the doctor, I think. <laughs> I'm not suffering from any conditions. They beat the bejesus out of me, though. I didn't want to be in the Irish mob anyway. I want to be in the Latin mafia. They took advantage of me doing tasks for them for 21 days and then didn't let me join. Now I'm depressed because they took advantage of me. All right, I'm going to provide alibis for the triads. I was not invited. God damn it. You're worried about your daughter's qualifications. Just bribe a college official. Do it for 24 grand? Yeah, do it. Fine. Yay. <laughs> that noise means I'm doing good things. All right, if you won't let me become a criminal, can I become another type of criminal? <laughs> Using 30 grand to run for school board director. I was unable to make it on the ballot. God damn it. Oh no, she suggested that we buy an affordable manufactured home. God damn it. Okay, let's buy it. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many scandals if I do get into politics, but yeah, hook up. Oh Jesus, she's arguing again. Apologize. Look, I can't help it. All right, now try running for politics again. Uh, School board director. Yeah, just sink a hundred grand into it. Focus on the environment. You are unable to make it. I just blew a hundred grand for no reason. Oh, my mother's suffering from bowel and constants. Why do they keep messaging me this stuff? I don't understand. You just woke up and your vision is really blurry to further complicate things you've already thrown up into your mouth multiple times today. It turns out agreeing with everyone to do everything might be a bad idea. You've been ousted from your position of photographer. They tell you it's because they believe you've been stealing office supplies. He probably just went along with it. Yeah, I wish them well, even though they falsely accused me. And now she's arguing with me. Apologize. Oh my god. The car is broken. Repair it. There's so much stress in his life. No wonder he's so miserable. Yeah, he's depressed. God damn it. Your car no longer starts. For fuck's sake, why is it such a shitty life to just agree with everyone? Let's go on a dating app and find love. Someone old who, who won't ask much of him. She's 95. Yeah, feck it, why not? Wait, a oh, divorce settlement. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I thought we were already split up. Okay, I think his girlfriend is insanely rich. So let's just keep buttering her up. Old people love Scrabble, right? Gift her a Scrabble set. No, old people do not like Scrabble. Elizabeth and I talked about whether or not pineapple belongs on pizza. Good thing he's agreeable, because that is a dividing topic. I'm gonna go shopping and buy a really expensive wedding ring. This diamond ring for 62 grand. Buy it. <laughs> I think it's more of an investment than anything. Propose. On the beach. She accepted. Yay! All right, let's get married immediately before you die. All right, a church in... No, don't take her that far. That's very risky. She could die. Mount Rushmore. She'll love that. Demanding a prenup. Why? This isn't fair. <laughs> but I have to agree. This is... <laughs> This is so pointless. I invested so much money <laughs> to marry and then, uh, well, you know what? A prenup doesn't really matter because she's gonna die soon anyway, right? All right, we have a charming bungalow and everything. That's really nice. Now age up once and my depression is gone. Oh, for feck's sake, you land on a clickbait website that claims to have 100 of the most amazing photographs ever taken. What will you do? Click through all 100, there you go. Oh no, my... I thought my wife died, but no, it was my mom. He was actually younger by quite a lot than, than his wife. <laughs> that looks like a recommendation to get her stuffed if I've ever seen one. Yeah, have her taxidermied. We inherited loads of money. Great. My job is just independently wealthy. All right, can I run for office now? You weren't able to make it. Why is it so hard to make it onto the school board? <laughs> Will I just try mayor instead? All right, since I can spend the wife's money, I'll just spend a million <laughs> trying to be a politician. You were unable to make it even though I spent a million on it. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna be angry. A bag full of marijuana. Well, I guess we have to consume all of it then. That made me extremely unhappy and unhealthy. My happiness went up to 1% as I aged up, but then someone dropped my key into water and it went back to a zero. Oh, you want to go to the theater? Yeah, I guess agree. I mean, he should treat her well, to be fair. She's not complained at all. <laughs> and he has done a lot that deserves to be complained about. How old is she now? She's 101. Jesus Christ. I have a feeling we'll be stuffing you soon too. What? No, how did she outlive me? What? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Another club is holding a moment of silence. That's what all the one night stands did for him. He had two kids? What? I pick you. <laughs> okay, very, very happy. Let's see what I can do. Oh, the mother died. 
Your wife is pregnant. Yeah, keep the baby. Oh my god, this is a hell of a, a year. You need to start putting in more time. Agree, I guess. I'm depressed. I have had, I had control of him for one year. He was so happy when I took over and his looks have plummeted too. His wife cheated on him. What? And now he has to forgive and forget. Keep the baby. Yeah, oh my god, this is a terrible life already. Your niece passed away. A baby boy, but you were not the biological father. Unlove can be your name. Unlovable. Great name. More overtime? Oh, Jesus Christ. Agreeing to everything is so stressful. Ginger has been having sexual encounters with strangers. Oh, forgive and forget. Another baby. Ginger, come on. I guess I'll just call this one cheat. <laughs> Cheatable. I'm depressed again. Oh, Jesus. He wants 65 grand for his tuition. Yes, pay his tuition. More hours? Agree. <laughs> your son died at the age of six. He drank window cleaner. <laughs> he probably asked to drink it and you just went, yes, I agree. <laughs> Have him taxidermied as his tradition. <laughs> I'm depressed again. Pay your tuition. Jeez, I don't have enough money. <laughs> Mother passed away. This is just bad news after bad news. I can afford to stuff her now, though, which is nice. And I inherited some money. Oh, look, more overtime. Your daughter, Cheat, is suffering from scarlet fever. I don't really care. <laughs> you know what he should do? He should go clubbing. He deserves it. I can't because I'm too old. You may have left it too late. He's 57. All right, a random one-night stand then. All right, at least he enjoyed that. A another one. <laughs> What's the point in being loyal to Ginger? Keep the baby. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> this one's just called my one true son. Hubble. <laughs> the name doesn't really have as much of a ring to it, but it works. Oh no, my one true son is suffering from whooping cough and my car is breaking down. Why is it always just bad news? Your wife Ginger wants a divorce. Whatever. Oh no, telemarketers. Yes, yeah, sign up, I guess. I have to agree. They found the one person who will go along with anything. It's the perfect call. A man offers you a sip of Red Bull vodka that he's holding. Oh, it's the worst that could happen. <laughs> Co-worker asks if you want to drop some liquid acid. Yeah, sounds fun. The doctor's saying he has hepatitis. Jesus Christ. Oh, Ginger's dead. Awesome. A tender funeral. Can we have her stuffed? You're concerned because your friend Doug's use of alcohol is spiraling out of control. Let him continue abusing it. I'm a yes man, not a good man. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What? <laughs> God damn it, I agreed to having like it and it killed me. <laughs> he overdosed. A diligent young fellow, you fulfilled his lifelong dream of becoming a grocer. Friends recount the time they saw him take acid. <laughs> All right, you know what? We should end there. That that family line should die right now. It's feckin' miserable. Probably the most depressing family I've ever seen. But I hope you enjoyed their antics. If you did, consider subscribing. Would love to have you around. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.